hello everyone how to solve for m in this problem we have 3 over m into 3 over m equals to m over 3 so we find the value of m here uh, so very first step we are going to do is here first we multiply these two terms and here we multiply the numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator so we know that three times of three becomes here nine and m times of m becomes here m squared equals to m over 3 so here we need to cross multiply the terms and we multiply this 9 by 3 and m by m square so it is written as 9 times of 3 equals to m times of m square so we have 9 times of 3 is 27 and m times of m square equals to m cubed so we write this expression as m cubed equals to 27 and we move this 27 uh, in the left hand side and it is written as m cubed minus 27 equals to 0. So here we focus uh, on this 27 and we know that 27 is equals to 3 cubed. Okay, so we know that 3 cubed equals to 27 and now here we need uh, the nice cubic formula and you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so here we solve this problem with the help of this formula and now we use this formula in the uh, left hand side and our left hand side is written as after using this formula m minus 3 times of m square plus a b so here our a is m and b is 3 so first we write a square it is m square and a b so our a is m and b is 3 plus b square so b is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 so here we need some simplifications and we write it as m minus 3 times of m square plus 3m plus 3 square equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0. So now here we divide this equation into two cases. So our first case is we take m minus 3 equals to 0 and the second case is we take m square plus 3m plus 9 equals to 0. So here in this case uh, we easily get the value of m is equals to 3 because this is minus 3 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus 3. So this is the our first real root of the given equation and now we need to find the other roots uh, so that we solve uh, this quadratic equation in order to find the other roots here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 3 and c equals to 9 so these are the coefficients of the above equation uh, and here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so you know about the quadratic formula it is stated as uh, m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our uh, quadratic formula uh, now we use this formula and here we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so first we have the value of b is 3 we put it here minus times of 3 plus minus square root of b square and our uh, b is 3 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a and the value of a is 1 and now in the next step uh, here we need simplifications and uh, we have uh, the, uh, the value of m equals to minus 3 and plus minus square root of 3 square equals to 9 and 4 times of 9 becomes here 36 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So uh, now in the next step 
uh, here uh, we subtract these two values and it is written as minus 3 plus minus uh, square root of 9 minus 27 equals 9 minus 36 equals to minus 27 and it is divided by 2. So here we focus on this uh, radical term uh, and we write this radical term as minus 3 plus minus here we separate the square root of minus 1 and square root of 27 so we write it here and it is divided by 2 so now in the next step uh, here uh, we uh, re rewrite this equation as minus 3 plus minus here we write this 27 as 9 times of 3 and we write this minus 1 square root equals to iota and this is divided by 2 so uh, further in the next step uh, here we just uh, separate the square root on both of these terms and it is written as m equals to minus 3 plus minus square root of 9 into square root of 3 iota and this is divided by 2. So uh, after that uh, here we know that the square root of 9 is equals to 3 so we write it as minus 3 plus minus 3 into square root of 3 and iota so uh, this 2 is divided by both of these terms and these are the other two roots of the given equation so here you uh, clearly see that these two roots are the complex roots okay so finally if we have the three roots of the given equation are first root is minus 3 plus 3 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 this is the first complex root and the second complex root is minus 3 minus 3 times of square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so this is the second complex root and the third real root is m3 equals to 3 so these are the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos